Hey guys, this is Cesar. Uh, I'm the creator of Aerolith and uh, I made this quick video just to show you an overview of how to use the program. Um, it may seem kind of daunting at first, but it's actually pretty simple. So when you log into Aerolith, um, this is going to be the screen that you see. Actually, you're going to see a screen that says uh, select word walls. You click on that and you're going to see this screen. This is the word wall screen. Uh, word walls is a program that I made uh, to study uh, basically what I call a uh, wall of words. Um, when you see the screen, you're going to see today's challenges, and there's also a few more tabs. There's search, there's saved list, there's named list. You can see those. Um, let's select today's challenges. Um, we're going to select the eights. Uh, that's the eight letter words. Uh, this will give you 50 random eight letter words. So click, select play. So here you can see there's a start button. There's a few other buttons. There's give up. There's uh, a way to see the solutions and even a way to create a saved list. Um, I'll show you those later. Um, okay, so I click start and here I'm presented with my 50 random uh, words for today. Um, some of these have actually multiple solutions. You can see that um, the number that is to the left of each of the scrambled word um, that tells you how many solutions there are. So for example, there's flooding, um, demonist, moldings. This one right here has two solutions, imperils and limpsier. Um, so basically I'm going down, uh, down this list trying to solve as many as I can. Um, you can solve them in any order. Um, the words are actually scrambled. You can see that, that the letters are actually in alphabetical order. You can change that order by, um, and I'll show you how to do that later, but you can see the the buttons at the bottom of the of the wall of words. There's a shuffle button. There's an alphagram button, and you can even um, put them in a custom order that you define. Um, all right, so yeah, you can just uh, watch me solve some words. Um, I'm doing these from memory. There's people who are much, much, much faster than me. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Uh, let's uh, let's get to the end. Um, I'm not going to solve all of these because I've never gotten 100% of the words in the four and a half minutes of the eight letter words. But um, you know, here I'm shuffling, I'm pressing the one button. You can actually type one or you can just click the shuffle button and it'll automatically shuffle the words so you can try to make some. So the preferences here, you can also see your custom tile ordering. You can set up any custom order that you want. So here's vowels first and then the consonants in some order. And uh, you can do several things like not show tiles. You can um, select the color of the tiles. Um, you can hide that green table. You can hide that weird uh, canvas background. You can show borders around the questions. Um, so yeah, so let's, uh, let's change the styling a little bit. Um, let's guess a few more words. So if you are not a tournament Scrabble player, this may seem kind of nuts to you that, you know, there's people who can just solve like scrambled words as quickly. Um, you can, anybody can do this. You can do this if you play Aerolith just a few minutes a day. Um, and a lot of these are pretty common words. You can see on the right, homebrew, emptiers, we gentle. Um, I'm fast forwarding a little bit more just so that we'll get to the end and I can show you what happens at the end of the game once the four and a half minutes are up. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna click give up. There's a few words I didn't solve. And we'll look at this. We'll look at the challenge results. Um, see, I'm 16th place right now. 85% of the words, um, with zero seconds remaining. Let's look at the top guy, Dr. Bing. That's a two-time national Scrabble champion. He solved all words with almost three minutes remaining. So he did everything in under two minutes. Let's click on the solutions. You can see the words that I missed are in red. Design, you know, it's a common word. I don't know what a crepe lock is. It's probably pretty tasty. Uh, Flatline. Mentions, pellicle, postally, and misfocus. Oh, an airship. So, you know, some of these are pretty hard words. Some of them I should have gotten, like mentions and uh, designed. So, uh, another interesting thing about this window that shows you the, the solutions um, the solutions, they, it tells you the answers, it tells you the definitions, and the little number to the left is a probability number. 
the lower that number, the more probable that word is, and the more likely that that rack that contains that word will show up in a Scrabble game. So this is done, this is computed based on the uh, distribution of the letters in a Scrabble bag. Um, so for example, something like demonist is using 919 probability. Top 1000 words in probability are actually very common. Uh, they come up much more often than like, you know, the bottom 1000 words, like, like many factors of, of difference. So um, if you want to get started with Aerolith, um, and studying for Scrabble words, uh, if you learn the top 1,007 letter words and the top 1,008 letter words, um, they'll get you very far. You can actually become a pretty good player with just those words. Um, so I'm just uh, finishing these words up. Uh, there was only eight of them, the ones that I missed. All I did was I clicked start again, and you can go through the ones that you missed. Okay, so just to show you the other tabs very quickly, um, there's a search tab where you can actually search by probability. Um, there's, uh, you know, for example, you can type in 100 to 200 of seven letters. I show you the saved list, so you can save your own lists. Um, there's named lists, which are lists that come with Aerolith. So I'll show you the five letter words that contain J, Q, X, and Z in them. So these are just 50 of them. There's a, you can actually go through all of them. You can see their questions one through 50 of 639. There's 639 um, five-letter X, J, Q, or Z uh, alphagrams. So there's actually a few more words in there. So here are the solutions, for example. Um, you know, pretty a lot of these are common. Some of them are kind of obscure, but these are extremely useful words too. So that's uh, Aerolith. Hope you guys enjoy it.